First and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wawrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth. To the rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters also. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. You know, for us who are in the know, who have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai upon us, you know, we're clearly at the end of the world. And it's funny because many great men before us have always asked a particular question. And that question only took two words. And those two words were how long? Okay, now we understand not much longer. All right, now let's go to the book of Matthews, chapter 17, verse 17. And Yahweh Shai said, and Yahweh Shai answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yahweh Shai rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from the very hour. So there are times in this ministry, being in this flesh, you just get so frustrated. You get frustrated, you know, just with how things are in the world, how things are in your personal life. You might get frustrated with brothers, okay? But there's going to come a time very soon where all of these things are going to be uh, a thing of the past. It's going to be passed away. Like right now, I'm freezing. Okay, it's a uh, negative six on the dash. I didn't uh, warm up my car, which I'm driving my lady's car. And in my, my vehicle, my heat's not even working right now. <laughs> you know? And that's all right because all this is temporary at the end of the day. It don't even matter. You know, we, we suffer just for a moment but one thing about suffering it makes things feel like it's never ending like an eternity all right but we're at that point now we don't need to really ask how long we really need to be asking like <laughs> you know for more faith more more strength to endure what's coming because it's, it's definitely coming down the pipeline and what I what I mean by it is our salvation but our salvation comes with a lot of tribulation it comes with a lot of testing it comes with a lot of um, you know opposition it comes with a lot of inconveniences it comes with a lot of various things it comes with a lot of great things it comes with a lot of blessings it comes with great days it feels uh, like you could take on the world you know you, you feel every emotion possible in this ministry and at least at this point of time that we are in we don't need to be feeling like man you know how long another hundred years and no man it's right around the corner we don't have to bear too much of the burdens that come with this flesh that much longer all right give me a second here I'm driving. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid in himself with thick clay. So again, there's that question. How long? Not long at all. And seeing how the Lord is constantly showing us, I mean constantly to a point of, you know, missing out on two hours of current events. You're missing out on a whole damn... 
uh, a whole bulk of, of, of things that's drawing forth to our salvation, man. All of these things, all the wars that you're hearing about, all the trauma that people are dealing with, all the the anxiety that people are dealing with in this society, yeah, it sucks for them, but these are all signs of our salvation. These are all signs of the times. All right? So not much longer, man. You know, we have a lot to talk about in the kingdom. We'll have a lot to talk about in the kingdom. You know, we go through what we go through now, but we'll have a lot to talk about. And we'll have perfect memory. So there won't be no ums or let me remember. No, we'll be able to fully express what we can't express now. Habakkuk 2 and 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increases, that increases that which is not his. How long? So how long is Esau going to be increasing over us? Not that much longer. All right, our salvation, our deliverance, the prize that awaits us is already in the pocket. All of these things were already written aforetime. And we're in that generation where all things are going to be fulfilled. How amazing is that, man? This is that generation where all of the prophecies of Yahweh Basham Yahushai are going to be fulfilled. Okay? So at the end of the day, as we await our Lord's return, we don't need to be in such a worn out spirit asking how long. Let's stay in the book of Habakkuk. Let's go back to Habakkuk chapter one and verse two. O Lord, how long shall I cry and thou will not hear? See, it's beautiful now because we're in that time where we're crying and the Lord's hearing us. The Lord is responding and it's going to keep on increasing and intensifying more and more as the Lord um, draws nigh. As the day of judgment draws nigh, the Lord is drawing closer and closer towards his neck because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai abide within them who abide in this word. So we don't need to be pondering on 10 years from now things are increasing quickly things are increasing drastically to even try to think of next week is really pulling it because how things are looking the Lord could easily just do one thing fast forward prophecy by next week this whole society could be shut down this whole society could be shut down by tomorrow if that's what the Lord wants Everything doesn't have to, you know, be drawn out so slowly. Although it seems slow from man's perspective, things are happening behind the scenes very, very quickly. Very quickly. Okay? So that question, how long, was asked a lot by many great men. Okay? And we don't need to, you know, really focus on how long at this particular point because we know now... <laughs> not much longer and and I say that through faith because none of us know the time or day so I'm going to read this and I'm going to close it after going to this job let me make this turn here <clears throat> you know you're catching hell when your hands are freezing in your vehicle <laughs> this is uh, Psalms chapter 13 and verse 2 how long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? <laughs> Not much longer. That's how long. And many of the ancient prophets who are back today have asked that question. Lord, how long? Because you get vexed. You get tired. You get, you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. But you have to learn how to keep yourself in a positive mind, man. And that's a very hard thing to learn, but every day is another chance to get better at it. So, Lord willing, 
you know, this lesson, as always, it was simple and edifying. Kahala Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Wa Rakakodash Shalom.